Welcome to the homework for Lesson 5. This is Module 4 of Grade 2. Write your name first. Solve and show your strategy. Remember this part? Show your strategy. That means we're going to be drawing tape diagrams probably, or number bonds, or arrow way. Those are all great ways to show, to show your strategies. So, 38 markers were in the bin. Chase added, and I could just draw a bin. Here's a bin. And there's 38 markers here. Chase added the 43 that were on the floor. So we had some markers here in a pile on the floor. 43, not 44. And he put them in the bin. How many markers are in the bin now? So there's my math picture. That's all I needed was for, you know, for my, I'm reading it. I'm drawing it. I'm going to write an equation and I'm going to write my answer statement. Have to have that for every word problem. So there's my math picture. Uh, so I'm, I'm adding 43 to 38. Well, this makes me think of my number bond strategy for adding numbers. You could do this the arrow way too. Plus 43, but practice this most recently. I need two more to make that a 40, right? And that would make this a 41. So that would make this 40 plus 41 equals 81. A lot easier numbers to add. There's my equation, and here's my answer statement there. Are 81 markers. In the bin now. Number two. There are 29 fewer, 29 fewer big stickers on the sticker sheet than little stickers. There are 69 little stickers on the sheet. How many big stickers are there? So, I mean, if we're going to draw a math picture, we could. Uh, we could draw a tape diagram for this, too. So, we have big stickers and little stickers on a sheet in probably in like a sticker album, maybe. Uh... There's fewer big stickers. So this is going to have to be, the little stickers are going to be the bigger piece of tape. And we know that there's 62 of them. And the big stickers, B for big, make your, try to get your endpoints to match up on your tape diagrams if you can. We don't know how many big stickers are there are there because that's the question how many big stickers are there but what we do know is the the fewer f we do know how many fewer there are there's 29 fewer so that's the difference between the two and we're looking at a subtraction problem so if we were going to use tape diagram subtraction, we could do it from this end. We need one more for each, but that's really probably going to confuse everybody. So I'm going to just write this. We've got a 29. We've got a 62, right? And a 29. Leave yourself a little room here. And we want an easier number to subtract, right? An easier subtrahend. So we're subtracting 62 minus 29, right? We want an easier subtrahend. We want to subtract 30 because it's a lot easier to take away 30. So we're going to add 1 to both because that's what we need to get the 29 up to a 30. Right, that's the 62. And that's the 29. So now we have 63 minus 30. Right? It's just adding one to your menu end and your subtrahend. 
And now you have much easier numbers to work with. 33. There are 33. Big stickers. Rose has 34 photos in a photo album and 41 photos in a box. How many photos does Rose have? So these aren't like the photos you'd have on your camera, on your uh, phone, I mean, or on a computer. These are paper printed out photos. So a photo album is like a book of paper photos. And they're all just kind of stuck in there like paint, like stickers on a, on a, in a sticker album. And then she's got the rest of them just in a box somewhere. So we're going to, the thing is we have, if we draw a tape diagram for this, we've got, these are the album photos. And there's 34 of those. And then the ones that come in the box, that's 41 more. Box 41. And we want to know how many photos is that when you put them together. And the number bond strategy would be an easy way to use this addition because we have, let's see, what is it? 41 photos in a box, 34. This, this is a kind of a weird strategy, but that 41 is really close to 40. Let's just write this out. So if we wanted this to be a 40, right? One. Suppose we did this. That's going to be 35, and that's 40. So we're going to have 40 plus 35. We give that extra one. Then now we can just look at the digits and use and solve this mentally. 75. And our number bond strategy here shows how we got easier numbers to work with. Rose has 75 photos in all. Hallie has two ribbons. The blue ribbon is 58 centimeters. The green ribbon is 38 centimeters longer than the blue ribbon. How long is the green ribbon? Well, when I had questions like this, especially a ribbon question, tape diagram. Okay. So she has two. We know we have a blue ribbon. And we know B. And we know it's 58 centimeters. Okay. The green ribbon is longer. So here's the green ribbon. It's longer. Uh, we don't know how long it is, because that's the question, but we don't know, uh, but we do know how much longer it is. So we do know this is the more, or the longer. Let me clean that up a little bit. Right, this part right here is the longer. And we know it's 38. And this, we know, is the same as that 58. So that's 58. So the whole green ribbon is the 58 plus the 38. So 58 plus 38, and we're adding 8s, so this would be a pretty good way to use our number bond addition strategy, right? Because we just need two more to make that a 60, or two more to make that a 40. Whichever one you want to use, it's not going to matter. Because either way, if I, so this 38 is going to be, we're going to think of this now as a 2 and a 36. 
because 36 is 2 less than 38. That's how you get it. And this 58 and the 2 together, that's going to be the 60 that we want. That's going to be an easier number to add. So we're going to have the 60 and the 36. And you can look at that and use the digits mentally. 96. The green ribbon. It's 96 centimeters. And now we said Hallie uses 67 centimeters of green ribbon to wrap a present. How much green ribbon is left? So we have the whole thing is there's a green ribbon. It's 96 centimeters long. And this is what she uses. 67 and this is what's left we don't know it well let's see we have 67 we could make this if we wanted to make easier numbers to subtract so we're, we're, what we're looking at is 96 minus 67 right those numbers are a bit of a pain to subtract because we can't subtract 6 from the 7 because we're subtracting 6 tens and we're subtracting 7 ones. We can't just switch it around and subtract the 6 ones here because this is our minuend and that's our subtrahend. We can't subtract part of the minuend from the subtrahend. It's, that's backwards. So um, we want to get easier numbers to subtract. 67 is close to 70. It's 3 away because 7 and 3 make 10. So that would make it 70. So 3, we would add 3 to both numbers. And I said, I think I said in one of the earlier homework videos that this uh, sub tape diagram subtraction method is, it's good for minus 8s and minus 9s, sometimes minus 7s. This is a time when one of the, this is a, kind of a minus 7 because it's minus 67. So we're going to have 99, right, because that's 96 plus 3, minus 70. And now we can just use the digits. There are 20. Nine centimeters of green ribbon left. And there's even more. Chad bought a shirt for $19 and a pair of shoes for $28 more than the shirt. How much was the pair of shoes? So let's see, the shirt is 19, and the shoes, uh, huh. They both start with SH, so it kind of makes it a pain here. The shoes are going to be more than the shirt. They're going to be 28 more. How much are the shoes? 19 plus 28. Easier if we think of this as a 1 and a 27, and then we can make that 19 into a 20. The shoes. Cost $47. 
how much money did he spend on the shirt and the shoes? So the shirt was 19. And the shoes were 47. So 19 plus 47. And here we have another, like we're adding a 9, so let's, see, let's make that into a 20. Make this, think of this 47 as a 1 and a 46. Now we have 20 plus 46, which is easy to use the digits. 66. And I can write these because these are all equal to each other. This expression and this expression and this number are all equal to each other. Chad spent $66. If Chad had $13 left over, how much money did he have before buying the shirt and shoes? So he's going to have, this is all of Chad's money. Chad's dollars. And the shirt and shoes together, we know, were 66. We don't know how much all of his money is, but we know he had, this is the leftover. And that's 13. So we, we have, we know this is 66 because that because the shirt and shoes were 66 so it's 66 plus 13 and you can use the arrow away for this one 13 is a plus 10 76 and then we can add the 3 79 Chad had seventy nine dollars.